today about darts. So these are darts in pottery that give the pot a different shape. Um, you can do this with a wheel thrown pot or a slab built pot. And um, darts are similar to what you do in sewing and it just gives a different look to the piece. Um, I think it's really fun to practice and to um, try different things in different sizes. I'm gonna show you just a couple of basic ones and then I'll also have um, some information about some of my favorite artists um, who do a lot of darting in their work. And it's just beautiful how the darts just add to the uh, creativity of their pieces. So make sure to check that out at the end of the video. So I think with darting, the one thing uh, that's important is to always have a pattern, uh, meaning you're not just doing it freehand because you want each side of your cut to be the same. And that's really important. Um, so this one is a pretty basic um, darting, um, and this will this is just a triangle. And then what you can do is if once you have your your pattern, you can just put little different lines right here that would be um, horizontal. And then each time you do that, you can determine you know do you want it that big? Do you want it a little bit shorter like this? Um, and that's what uh, can be fun about using darts. So I'm going to, you, you want to also, I want to put four darts in this pot right here. So I want to mark my four sides. So I want them to be on each side. So I don't want this to be too far down. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I mark it. I want this to only go to this line. And again, that helps with making sure that your pot is, so I'm lining up this line right here with the rim of the pot. And then this is lining up with my marker of where I put the, the four points on the pot. So I'm gonna make sure to line that up. And I'm not cutting this one, I'm just going, giving myself a line then I can come back and make sure. So I cut all four of these, or at least mark it on here. And then again, when you're doing these, you're coaxing the clay. You're not forcing it into these shapes. You're really kind of letting it know, okay, I've cut you and now this is where I need you to go. And again, the more time and energy you take on really understanding how darts work, the more pleased with your final work and the final shape that you get you're going to like. And then two, um, the more accuracy you are to be able to repeat that. So I'm just cutting out that triangle. there. So now I'm just going to, again, just coax the clay in so it knows I want it to go this way. And it's bending, so I'm kind of coming down to this where that line is and telling it, okay, let's come over here. And then I have that, the top is aligned and then I keep pushing this together and I'm letting it know that that's where I want it to be, right there. And then what I'll do is I'll slip and score each side because um, that joint's going to be pretty fragile. So I really am going to have to slip and score and then also put a coil on the inside just to make sure that that joint sticks together. And so that's what gives this pot that little triangle gave it a, like that. And I, again, that just gives it a very different look than if it was just, you know, sitting straight on the flat. Anything that kind of like can lift the pot up, I think is helpful. So that was a triangle. 
So on this one, we're going to, let's, um, if we were gonna make this into a coffee mug, you know, it'd be interesting to have a little space in here where your hand would go and then the, the handle kind of comes out, but there's a little indention in there. So these are the shapes that would create this. So the longer the cut is, the longer that indention is, the shorter, the smaller. So I think on this one, I wanna do something a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna put it right here. I don't wanna to go to the top. I wanna to make sure I have some of my rim left. I'm gonna cut through here. Turn it this way so I can make sure I'm cutting it right. And again, that's just where you see some of these potters that have just been doing this for years and they're making pots and they've done it a thousand times. It's amazing to watch some of those people work. So I have a little, I guess almost tadpole, but not really, kind of shape. And then I'm coaxing this together. I'm coaxing this together because it's kind of and again, you wanna go slow, and I really want these points to come out. And so again, I just keep coaxing it together. And again, I'll use slip, and I'll really score this so it comes together nicely. And then that joint, I know, is gonna be really tight. You're always supporting your clay Keep pushing that together. And so that is going to be how that cup looks. But that's interesting to have that look and then be thinking about a handle that would come here to here. And then you've got this lack of space, but then the handle is going to come here. So that's just going to be a really interesting way to approach that. And I think I'd even come back in and give this a little bit of a belly because we're wanting to show off the shape of this pot. And this is to me what's exciting about darts is there's just so many possibilities. So if we did that, that really gives it a different look. And then I'd of course work on my rim, but that would be this. And then if we didn't want something that big, it would just be this. And so it would just be a little cut right there. And I just think that's a fun one. So let's see, some other darts. There's this one, and this really gives a very different look. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my spot. I've got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use the whole design. And then this is really an interesting cut because it really gives a really strong edge and a point. I really like that. And again, I'd slip and score this, really blend that and get that together, but look at that. And that was this one. So I could put this on this side as well, like that, so, but that again, that would be an interesting design for a mug or for a vase just again to add texture, uh, not just texture, but I mean more of a shape and design, and it's not just um, just the pot by itself. So be thinking about that when you're designing your pots, that you're, you're basically starting out with a cylinder, and then you're trying to decide what shape you want to manipulate this cylinder into. You know, do you want to uh, lift it up? Does it need to have different kinds of feet? This could even be this way. What if the pot went like this, and this was the bottom, you went like this, and then you could have a handle, and that could be a vase, or 
a picture. So, you know, be thinking about your shapes um, and definitely experiment, turn your pots upside down, try different shapes. And um, the more you try, the more exciting it's gonna be to come up with some darted pieces. Okay, see you next time.